All right, what I wanted you guys to see is when you're watching this video with the duotone thing and you're about, what is that, 12 seconds in, and they go to the gradient map tool like this, they have a box of pre-designed gradients that show up and that's because they're using an older version of Photoshop. When we do it, it's gonna look like this. <clears throat> so gradient, I click here, Gradient map is going to come on. Let me turn the eyeball back on. And what happens in the newest version of Photoshop is that you have this black and white bar. So if you watch the photo that I'm working with, see how it lightens up when I turn it off with the eyeball? It gets a little more contrasty and dark when I turn it on. So what it did is it just let, added an extra layer of black and white over the top. So if I click on that, <clears throat> you get all these little folders in this box called gradient editor and you just decide like what colors do I feel like using basics is just going to be things that are about darkness and lightness but there's a whole folder of all kinds of combinations of blues of purples y you get to pick all right whatever color interests you I'm gonna go with the oranges so <clears throat> okay so it made my face and all the dark areas really light and the light areas really dark. So um, I don't really like that. I'm going to try something different. I'll go back to this one. Okay. I still have this flip between the lightness and the darkness areas. So if I go up here, Right underneath the sample that I've picked, there's a button that says dither, and there's a button that says reverse. Click reverse. Go OK. Click reverse. Now that's a better match of tones. But here's what's cool. We can click on that color bar again, and I can add things. So, like, let's say I want to add some darker tones. So what I do is I go to this color sample box, and this is similar in the video, and I slide it over. And then right underneath, click, it made another version of this color. Now I go to the color box. Let's say I want to add something in the purples. See that? That's starting to look more interesting. And I can say, okay. And if I want those, if I want more purple to show up, then I'm just going to slide this over and it's going to blend more purple in. And I could do that, you know, anywhere. Like, let's say I want to put a totally different color right here. And what happens if I go to something that's a little more orange? Ooh, check that out, huh? That's a little much. But all you do is click inside of this color picker tool, and I can move this, you know, sort of rainbow prismy color thing here, there, and anywhere. Let's see what it does. Oh, there's things about that I like. It's a little extreme, but if I go over here, that's a little mellow. Anyway, I'll say okay, and then I can just slide these things around and play with this little diamond shape underneath. That's the blender tool. I like what it's doing to my hat. I like what it's doing to my sweatshirt. I like what it's doing in my glasses frames. I don't like what it's doing in my face. So I would continue to experiment with that to see if I could get some a little bit better pattern of color on my face. But that's how the new Photoshop is a little different from um, what's in the video. But all you do is you just click on this color panel and you just start playing with stuff and um, experimenting to see what colors it is you like. And that's how it goes. I'm doing this on a portrait. I was advising to people the other day to do it on a portrait, but if you don't have a portrait, you can just, you know, do it on any picture you want. That's it.